What's going on my bacon buddies? Welcome back to Inform Overload. I'm your host Johnny Rogers and if you happen to be new here we take the most interesting news stories on the internet and then make them more entertaining. So to never miss another story make sure you click that subscribe button. Plus you can follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, we got them all. Make sure you folks stay all the way until the end of this video because we will have some bonus content for you. I am getting some serious Frankenfish vibes from this next story. Georgia officials are warning the public of a new dangerous species of fish that can live on on land. Yeah, that's a thing. They say that if you see it, to kill that thing immediately. Kill it with fire. Okay, they didn't actually say use fire, but still, the fish is called the northern snakehead, and earlier this month, one was actually found in Gwinnett County Pond. According to the Georgia Department of Natural Resources Wildlife Resources Division, what a redundant name. They reported that this marks the first time the dangerous fish has been observed in Georgia waters. Now the tricky thing for the wildlife division in Georgia is to determine the extent of how bad this issue has become. They need to figure out if the northern snakehead has actually spread from this pond in order to stop it from reaching other bodies of water. Matt Thomas, the chief of fisheries for the wildlife resources division said in a statement, our first line of defense in the fight against aquatic invasive species such as the northern snakehead are our anglers. Thanks to the quick report by an angler our staff was able to investigate and confirm the presence of this species in the water body. We are now taking steps to determine if they have spread from this water body and hopefully keep it from spreading to other Georgia waters. Unfortunately, the snakeheads have been reported in 14 other states in the US, although as we mentioned, this is the first time they've been to Georgia. Only a dangerous fish would think vacationing in Georgia is a good idea. The northern snakehead is a long, thin fish. Sounds like how my girlfriend describes me. And it appears to be similar to a bowfin and can be extremely detrimental to local wildlife. The fish will outcompete and displace other species in the water as reported by a US Geological Survey. The fish compete with native species for food and habitat and their major concern with the snakeheads is that it would replace other important predatory fish in the area. If for whatever reason these fish become established in the North American ecosystem, their predaceous behavior could drastically disrupt food webs and ecological conditions. This would change native aquatic systems forever. The northern snakehead fish is actually a native fish to East Asia and at one point in time was even sold in local pet stores, fish markets and restaurants in major cities before 2002. Following 2002, the US Fish and Wildlife Service had added the fish to the species of injurious wildlife. Species on this list are considered harmful to the interests of human beings, agriculture, horticulture, forestry and wildlife in general. The first ever recording of the sharp toothed fish in the wild was in the United States in San Bernardino County, Silver Wood Lake in California way, way back in 1997. For the most part, these invasive fish are introduced by way of unauthorized release. For Georgia, it is illegal to import, transport, sell, and transfer any species of snakehead fish without a valid wildlife license. The creepy thing with this fish is that it can breathe in oxygen through an air bladder that's very similar to a lung. I don't know why, but air bladder makes me cringe real hard. This ability makes it possible for them to actually move across small areas of land into new bodies of water, bringing a whole new meaning to the term fish out of water. Apparently, they can even last for up to four days out of water so long as they are kept Moist. Ugh, I hate that word. Plus, to make things scarier, it can grow up to three feet in length and weigh as much as 18 pounds or more. This invasive fish will eat other fish and has even been caught chewing on smaller animals such as mice, all of which was tracked and reported by the Maryland Department of Natural Resources. Georgia officials are very clear as well with how they want you to handle an encounter with these mouth-breathing aquatic monsters. After you properly identify that this is indeed a northern snakehead fish, do not release it. You have to kill the fish immediately freeze it, and if possible, take a few selfies of the thing, including a close up of its mouth, fins, and tail, and then take note of where this encounter took place. After going through those steps, and obviously if you live in Georgia, you must report it to your regional Georgia Wildlife Resources Division Fisheries Office. <laughs> long, long title for that place. Now as always, we want to hear your thoughts on this story, so comment down below if you've ever had a strange encounter with one of these fish. Now while you do that, let's check out some of your featured comments from the video titled, Drones Find Prisoner who escaped 17 years ago. Wayne Scoggins says, was just talking to a friend about this. Technology makes it impossible to get away with anything these days. Well, just don't be a criminal and you'll be fine. Rainbow Hippie says, your face looks like the Pringles logo. <laughs> love this and love me some Pringles. Bertus Van Heerden says, so he basically saw a UFO and then a bunch of cops dropped on him. Man, that must be trippy. Look, I can't even imagine how much he must have been freaking out. He was probably like, what is that? 
Is that a helicopter? No, it's aliens, bro. Lindsay Roach 79 says, the crazy part is he's going to be living better in prison. He'll have clean clothes and showers, food, people to talk to. He was in his own prison in a way. 100% this experience is just going to make him love prison more. Although it is prison in China, so who knows if it's any better than just living in a cave. Andre says, if you see this comic, can you do your best bruh in the next video? Bruh, of course. Thank you for watching Inform Overload, and if you enjoyed this video, then show us some love here by tapping that like and subscribe button. Plus, if you find any news stories that are exciting and you want us to cover them, make sure you send the link in a DM to our Instagram page, at Inform Overload. And if we like it, you may just see your story on our channel. Plus, for more videos like this one, all you gotta do is click that playlist on the side of the screen. From Inform Overload, I'm Johnny Rogers. Until next time, take care.